so breathe. All right, hello everyone. This is Candace on the Candy Shop, and I am back today with another observation on Kevin Samuels. I won't say observation, but a little synopsis on the whole Kevin Samuels situation. I feel like he's gonna be the new trending term for 2020. This high value man with man, which is funny to me. So, let, where do I begin? So, well, first of all, this is a little disclaimer. Yes, I know I need to change my batteries and my smoke detector. If somebody says something one more time, I'll be changing it soon. But um, anyways, Kevin Samuels, this situation is getting like crazy. Now, I've watched his previous videos and I like them. They're funny. They, they are very entertaining. Um, a lot of what he says is true, but he has a very harsh delivery when he says it. Um, also, some of the people calling in, men and women, just, they don't seem like normal people. I don't see people like this outside in the real world, like, unless they don't show it. So, for one, with, with women, um, I know there are women that, when they are searching for a life partner or trying to date a man, they do want a man with money. It does not, I'll just say this, it does not always have to be a six-figure guy. And to me, six figures right now, when you really truly look at it, let's take $100,000. Somebody making $100,000 a year is still middle class money. Like you're living comfortably, but when you think about all of the expenses and all of the things that you need in life or that you um, that you have in life when it comes to kids, cars, uh, car insurance, all your bills, that is just living comfortably. To me, the six figures, it's not a lot when you think about it. Now, if, you, if you're if you this seven-figure man where you're making millions of dollars each year, then yes, that is a true high-value man. Now, I said in my previous video, high-value to me doesn't necessarily deal with the money aspect. It's more about the character because when you're looking for, um, if you go looking for just this man with money, you don't know what you're gonna get. If your aim is on just money, you might miss some of the red flags that does not, that make him somewhat of not a, a good person. And so that's very scary. This man could be an abuser. He can be all sorts of things and you would never know that because you're so focused on the money. Men, I've noticed men call into Kevin big Samuel's dick. show. Huh? You have a big dick? I mean, it's above average. I ain't no Ron Jeremy. No, 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 no. I asked you if you had a big dick. I just said it was above average. I don't know what that is, really. Uh, nigga, you know if you got a big dick or not. Stop the bullshit. <laughs> Every dude know whether or not he got a big dick. I know I got a big dick. You don't know? I mean... You don't have a big dick. That's the point. You don't have a big dick. You don't have a big wallet. You a big, you a fat dude. And you got a lot of nerve thinking you should get choosing signals at 5'10 and 300 pounds making less than $1,000 a month at 20 years old. And women should approach you, what they get, they don't even get a big dick. <laughs> Some of the men that call in get looked at as being, I guess, insecure as well. And so it's just, I don't, where is he finding these people? Like, this is funny. If I would not be calling in, if anything, if I have something going on in my life, I'm going to actually pay my little money and go see a therapist to take, handle my stuff. I want somebody that's li a licensed professional to handle whatever issues that I may have. Um, so this high value thing is just, it's, it's pretty interesting. I think a lot of people are getting way caught up in this term. It, where it's, it's becoming kind of delusional. Um, realistically though, you, you have to look at yourself in your life and are it basically the question is, are you living your life being authentically you? And, and are you okay with that? And so me, I wanna be happy. Life is too short. Um, I don't have time to be trying to live my life to someone, someone else's standards. I have a husband, I have kids, I have a job. I have a lot going on for myself where I can't get caught up into this high value thing, high value that and all this other stuff because I have real life situations that occur and that is just, it's ridiculous. All right, <laughs> so enough said, but yeah. Oh, another thing that I wanted to point out, it does, now this is what's confusing. 
on a lot of his videos, I know he titles them with black women, but on some of them, he does it designate between color. So I don't know if he's talking about women in general, like the modern woman or black, black woman or white woman. I don't know. So that, that's interesting to me as well. When I'm talking about men, I'm talking about men, period. I'm not necessarily just talking about black men. Also, um, if Kevin Samuels isn't checking for my kind of person, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with being who you are. So don't ever think that I am bashing this man. I don't know this man. He's pure entertainment to me. Um, I think what he's doing is, is working really well. He's the, the Duke, new J Derek Jackson, but he caters more to men than he does women. So, but to me, they, they are one and the same. But tell me your thoughts. Um, I'm going to post this soon. I hope you enjoyed the video or my, my discussion, my little two cents. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe to The Candy Shop. Bye.